Hey guys, hope you're keeping well. Um, I haven't got any beer of my own to show you this week, but um, I was just down at the supermarket and I spotted a Cooper's limited edition uh, Best Extra Stout in a can. And I don't recall seeing this beer in a can before, and it's been quite a while since I've had any of the Cooper's beers. Um, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to grab one and just um, crack it open and just, uh, yeah, just see how it tastes. As you guys know, a lot of us um, started off brewing um, Cooper's beers with the kits, etc. And, and these are some of the beers that we were trying to emulate, with, you know, the likes of the Cooper's Stout kits. So yeah, this is in a nice big 40, 440ml can, uh, 40 IBUs and it's 6.3%. So we'll pour it up and uh, yeah, just uh, reacquaint ourselves. So yeah, I've done quite a few, well, mainly in the early days, uh, Cooper's kit beers and the stout of kit I've used a few times. So I've dug out the old Cooper's glass here. Should be able to be pretty aggressive with this. Oh, that looks fantastic. Just how I remember it. Beautiful mocha head on the top there. Looking fantastic. Uh, the only other information on the can is um, uh, it's got the hops prior to Ringwood and uh, yeah, it uses a judicious, um, you, sorry, the finest South Australian barley malt is judiciously combined with roasted malt and aromatic hops to produce a stout of rare excellence so yeah cracking looking tin, tin as well can so i hope you guys are all going well uh, it's saturday here the sun was out before but i thought we'll do this video before it uh, completely uh, clouds over so get a nose on it Yeah, some real nice roasted barley, obviously, notes, roasted notes, but also getting a nice little bit of sweetness on the top. And try to ringwood hops, I'm not sure what they deliver as far as, um, you know, um, what their hop profile is, but yeah, it's a real nice sort of almost slightly woody yeah sort of note on the top so it smells really really good some little hints of chocolate as well so we'll dive in cheers guys actually uh, that's actually a nice nice drop there um, probably better than I remember if I'm being honest um, I don't know whether the can the stuff in the cans tastes better than maybe the bottles but um, that's really nice nice bit of upfront bitterness but then it's uh, it's quite also quite smooth getting more dark chocolate in the flavor getting a little hint on the aroma but yeah, there's definitely a bit more of the chocolate coming through on the flavour. Getting a little bit of that, that sweetness again that I was picking up on the nose coming through. Yeah, that's a, that's a solid solid drop. Uh, it wasn't too bad a price for the can, it was, so it's a 440ml and it was um, uh, 4 dollars you know, when you compare that to got like uh, other other stouts etc and a similar size can here you'd be looking at at least sort of seven eight dollars up depending on who's brewing it so uh, yeah 449 is a, is a good you know it's a fair price yeah very very smooth um good body on it yeah nice nice sort of um, Fairly rich body, good, really good mouthfeel as well. Slightly creamy. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased. I picked up this from the the shop. It's been far too long since I had one, and I might snag a few more cans and um, 
keep them in the fridge uh, now that I've uh, had this one. Um, so yeah, that's about all for the video guys. Nothing, um, no beer brewing at the moment, but I will look into doing something in the next week or so. I have got some cider on the go. So I'm doing a cherry and coconut cider. Um, so I've got that fermenting at the moment. So what I'll do is probably do a tasting of that in um, probably a couple of weeks. It's only just started fermenting, so um, yeah, looking forward to that. I've done the um, coconut um, and apple cider a few times now, but I've added some uh, cherry. It's actually um, a natural cherry uh, like extract or essence, um, which I thought would be a you know, nice addition, give it a whirl. So hopefully that turns out okay. Until then, enjoy your weekend. Um, with the beers if you see this in the shops um, uh, definitely give it a give it a whirl I really like the can version very attractive looking can and um, yeah not much more to say so catch you guys next time over and out cheers